Hi, I'm Claudia Skew, a cartonnage designer and teacher from Colorway Arts. And in this video, I'm gonna show you uh, a few tips to have great corners when you are doing any kind of cartonnage project or book binding or maybe scrapbook project, album, something that you have a square corner that you have to cover with fabric or with paper. And of course, we want to have the best finishing for our corners, okay? So in this video, I'm gonna show you uh, some tips and tools that I use to have great corners, standard corners, every time I make a project or I cover a piece of paper with fabric or paper, doesn't matter, that works for both. Okay, so let's see. Well, what I'm gonna show you here is, uh, let's say this is a project. In my case, this is a cover for a journal in cartonage, but that let's say it could be like a book cover or an album cover, whatever. What is important here, I have pieces of chipboard. Uh, they are glued together with craft paper in this case, but could be different. And then I cover them with fabric. So now to have a great finishing, I have to fold the, the glue and fold the fabric, could be paper, uh, around, okay. But then I have to have great corners, so I, of course we all want good finishing our projects. So how we can fix this? Okay, so of course if I glue like this, I have extra fabric and then I have to cut this extra fabric somehow, okay? Some people use the uh, chipboard right here on the corner to cut, some people do like corners like this. Well, doesn't matter, what I'm gonna show you here is that you can use a tool that is called the corner miter tool, okay? And we're gonna use it to have always standard corners. So you put your tool right there on the corner and then you go with a rotary cutter and you just cut like this. That can be uh, this way or if you are using paper, you can use a craft knife uh, and go in the other direction. That doesn't really, you know, matter. Corner miter tool, the normal standard corner miter tool. It's made in a stainless steel, so you're gonna have it forever. <laughs> you know, it's really uh, strong. So you uh, just put and cut the corner. So after having this tool for a long time, I decided to also offer a new option that is a long corner tool, what I call two in one. Uh, corner and um, miter and trim because what I can do with this tool here I can go on the corner cut the same way we did with the other tool and I also can go around my project and trim the extra in case I have more than I need we don't always need to trim around depends on the project like if I'm doing a cartonage project that I'm gonna glue something over here and I will not see the edges I may don't need but uh, if you are covering paper for example it's very important to have a good finishing trim around okay so this uh, corner tool has three quarters it's three quarters wide and nine inches long okay so we can with the same tool you go all around, you cut the corners and you go and cut around. <laughs> okay, so you go all around. Uh, when you using this one, you can use this for the corners and then you can use an, another ruler on the sides, right? But this is just to facilitate our job. So we'll go all the way down and also here. So I can go all the way here and cut, okay? So that's the uh, long corner tool, okay? And what I, oh, I didn't do, let me do here as well as I'm doing. Okay. Okay, then I have my four corners cut, okay? And then it's time to start gluing. I always like to start with the long edge, okay? And it's important that you uh, see another important tips here for a great finishing. So first, you spread the glue all the way on the long edge. Uh, you may apply glue, if you are doing with paper, you may apply to the paper, don't know. So here, with fabric, it's very important that you always spread glue also here on this part of the project, on the corner, actually in this part of the fabric that is there, 
And then you go with your spatula and bring tight. You put your spatula under a project and then bring tight. Okay? And it's very important to make sure that close to the corners it's really tight. Okay? That will uh, have a better finishing. And then another important thing. I like to keep my spatula in this position and then I press here on this fabric. So what I'm doing, I'm gluing the fabric with the fabric on the bottom here, right? So I'm covering the edge of the cardboard on that position. Okay? So once I do on both sides here, I'm just gonna go and repeat to the opposite edge, okay? Apply glue on the corner, apply glue on the corner, and then you fold and bring your edge and press. Press here and then press on the other side as well. And then my last, last part, okay, the short edges, I go with the fabric, I don't go with the glue over the fabric here, only on the cardboard. And then I go right here on the um, wrong side of the fabric, right on the edges, okay, and then I just go and press and bring. And that will give me a perfect corner every time. And then you just repeat on the other side and your piece will be ready, okay? Uh, that tool works very well with thick chipboard, but also works very well with thin paper. It's just the way you press after, you can just take a look and see. I'm using every time with poster board, with thick, thin chipboard, with thick chipboard, and works very fine. Okay, I hope you like it and I have only one more tip about the long corner tool because it is a tool that is long but it's very narrow here, okay? So in case one day you hit this like on the table or let drop on the floor or something like that and you see that it's not completely straight because when you put in this position it must be straight with the table, okay, flat. If you notice this is a little bend, it's just the way you put in this position and press, make sure, make pressure in this uh, side of the tool, okay, and it will be flattened again, okay. So this way, this is a stainless steel, you can have it for so, so, so long. Hope you like the tips I gave you. I hope you make so many projects uh, using the tools and then you are very happy with your crafting time. Okay? Thank you so much for watching this video and I see you another time. Bye! -bye.